Hi, this is Mike Anoni, and I think somebody is telling me in a very polite way that you read too much comics because I don't know. It's I read this stuff, and maybe I'm looking at comic books in a different way than uh, a new reader would, and or maybe just a reader who doesn't really, I don't know, think about what they're reading. They just like looking at the pictures, but. I was going to read the review of Schism and uh, X-Force together, but after reading this, my brain just literally stopped working, uh, so I can't really read X-Force. I read three pages, and I retained absolutely nothing. So uh, let me do a review of this. Maybe I'll play some StarCraft, and um, I'll be able to do the other comic reviews tomorrow or the next day. So anyways, Prelude to Schism is basically the big event for the X-Men. Nothing will be the same, teams are torn apart, blah, blah, blah. So, what we have here, this wonderful crafted tale by Paul Jenkins, is we get this impending doom. Something incredibly powerful and horrible is coming to the Utopia, and... The chance of survival is like, I don't know, zero percent. And Scott has to make the decision, do we run or do we face it and, um, you know, come out ahead, you know, face the consequences. Well, and then obviously, who wrote, who drew this? Uh, Roberto. He obviously doesn't re remember that Kitty Pride has a suit on with a fishbowl head. Because she's in her regular costume. Um, so, anyways, here's here's the situation. We don't we know that there's something evil coming, something big, and there's it's going to happen in waves. So that means there's going to be it's obviously, you know, I, I mean this is not the what I think it is, but let's just say it's the brood. You know, obviously you're going to have scout brood, and then you're going to have larger brood, and then bigger, more powerful brood, and eventually you know the queen would hit. So that's just as an example, but I don't think it's the brood. Anyways, so Wolverine wants to fight, obviously, and the like people like Rogue are getting all pissy because you know she's like, well, I don't understand why Scott's dealing with Magneto because we are obviously his, you know, commanders, and we should be the ones who are helping make Scott make this, this very important decision. And you, you can see Magneto and Scott are just staring out into space, thinking. Now. Um, I don't know what the problem here is because I guess you can say this. This is a comic book, so you may as well just stay and fight because if you don't stay and fight, then there's no book. And nobody's going to die. And if they do, they're just going to come back. So just stay and fight. I don't understand what the problem is. Anyways, we get doom, 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 and then all of a sudden the whole rest of this book is flashback. And this is the part that's going to pain me the most. If the road... The prelude, see, I keep saying the road because it's stupid DC road to flashpoint nonsense. But the prelude schism, if the, the other three issues are a flashback of Scott Summers meeting Professor X and, you know, Scott's crying, you know, well, I don't like those glasses because they hurt my eyes and don't worry, the plane didn't, I didn't look at the plane and I'm just shooting eye beams. And Professor X is like, Scott? You have to do that. You have to wear the glasses. You know, the FAA is going to come after you. And, you know, the, the voice of reason. And you basically, this book here is, it's designed for people who have never read the X-Men before. And this is what this is. Uh, and anybody who's familiar with the X-Men already know these stories. Now, granted, they may not have known the story of Scott Summers and Professor X in the, um, the field. Uh, because that never happened until this moment in time. You know, maybe they didn't see all these little side things that uh, Professor X, how he lost his leg. I mean, the way they wrote it here and the way Scott, some of Scott's emotions with Dark Phoenix and stuff like that. Okay, maybe they didn't know. But I think for the most part, um, anybody who's read the X-Men for at least a year or two probably, or at least knows, maybe seen the movies, um, 
origin issues, you know, things like that. They probably pretty much got the gist of what's going on with these characters. So all we're so basically what they're doing with this here is it looks like they're re, they are rewarding people who have no clue. Well, you know, I'm tired of books, big deal books that reward people who have no clue. I am a long time reader of the X Men. I want something to shock me. I want something to make me go, holy shit, I just can't believe I just spent, you know, what is this, $3 and go, my God, that was so incredible. I cannot wait till the next issue. I don't want to read a book and go, I spent $3, oh my God, I spent $3 and I didn't get anything new out of this book. I got nothing new. They, the only, th I, I got absolutely nothing. I read previews and I know that something dangerous is coming. So guess what? I got this book um, out of previews and I didn't have to spend three dollars to read that type thing. I just, I, it's, I, now I understand somebody at Marvel and I'm sure the fans out there, there's going to be a bunch of fans out there are going to be thinking, this is, this is actually a really good idea. You know, this is a fantastic story. Um, and credit, it is. It is. It, it is a very well written story. I'm not gonna. I don't want to take anything away from it. But when you're trying to build up, something terrible is going to happen. I want more clues about this terribleness. I don't want to wait till like issue four to see the terribleness. I need something to to hook me in immediately. Now, granted, a lot of people are going to be hooked just because they said something terrible is coming and people are going to go whoa time out something terrible is coming to utopia i must read every single issue every single crossover give it to me all well you know i i guess you could say i'm a more advanced reader i don't i need something more than that you know you know you didn't have to even show me what's coming maybe an outline of what's coming you know in the shadows something because what i'm afraid of is by the time i get to issue four and the schism starts I'm going to look at the, what, this impending doom and go, really? Is that the best you could have done? The mutant massacre was more scarier than what I just saw. And that's what I'm afraid of. And I don't want this, you know, I don't, I don't want to be second-guessing my books. I just want to spend my 2 $3, and I just want to be entertained. I, you know, I want, if they tell me something bad is going to happen, I want the bad. If something good is going to happen, I want the good. You know, don't get tease me with this flashback nonsense. That, that's what it, this is to me. This is complete and utter nonsense. This is, you know, you didn't need to call this prelude to schism. You could have said X-Men, the early years, Professor X, Cyclops, issue one. And guess what? That would have worked. That's what this book should be called, Professor X and Young Cyclops. Because... Um, I, I need, I, I just need more, and um, this this really didn't is not hyping me. Like if, if somebody came up to me at a comic book store and said, "Hey, Maginoni, um, are you really excited for Schism? Because I heard it's really going to be good." I would say, um, "I read this first issue of the Prelude, and it really didn't excite me. Something bad is supposed to happen, but you know what? Something bad happens in X Force. You know, Herc. Oh wow." Herc, this is bad because Herc is fighting um, Hobgoblin and he doesn't have his powers. Oh, impending doom, the dire wrath war, whatever, Queen is about to kill Server Surfer. If she gains his powers, that's impending doom. Oh my god, impending doom, everybody's afraid. And, oh my god, these two are going to hook up and have Avenger Academy mutant monsters. You know, I need something more than, than just being told something dangerous is coming. And, and it's while the atmosphere is good, while, like I said, the story is well written, I don't believe this is, this shouldn't be, a, a, this should, I need more, is what I'm trying to say. I need more than what they're giving me. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Rate the video over down, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll have uh, more reviews sometime.